If you are excited to get into robotics, there is something really important you need to know first and that is electronics. Today, I am going to break down the most important things you need to learn in electronics before jumping into robotics projects. Whether you want to build a small robot car or something more advanced, a good understanding of electronics will make your life so much easier. It's the foundation of everything you will do in robotics. So, let's dive into the key things you should learn before you get started with robotics. The first thing you need to know is the circuits. Think of circuit as the path that electricity takes to power all the components of your robot. Every robot, no matter how simple or advanced, need a circuit to work. In robotics, you'll be working with different components like motors, sensors and LEDs and you will need to know how to connect them in a circuit. All the basics like understanding how current flows and how to create a working loop are super important. If your circuits don't work, your robot don't work. So, start with simple projects like lighting up an LED or making a small motor spin. This will help you understand how circuit works and give you the skills to build more complex robots. Let me introduce you to a tool that I've been using in order to design my circuits, my hobby projects and design my PCBs. And guys, if you're a DF electronics enthusiast, this is going to help you a lot in your journey. This is Altium PCB Designer. This is a tool which can be used to design circuits, create simple PCBs for hobby projects or complex and multi-layer PCBs for industrial use. It's easy to design the circuit and create our own PCBs using Altium. And if you are a DIY electronics enthusiast, you're really gonna love it. Altium subscription includes Altium 365, which lets you design share and manufacture your projects all in one place. You can even collaborate on your circuit with friends and share real-time feedback. You can download and install the trial version from the description down below. Next, you need to learn about key components you'll be working with. These are like the building blocks of your robot spring. For example, resistors control how much current flows through a circuit. Capacitors store energy and release it when needed. Transistors act like switches, controlling the flow of electricity in your robot. Knowing how these components work and when to use them is critical. Each of these components play a different role in your robot, and understanding them will help you build circuits that are efficient and more reliable. And the good news is, there are tons of beginners tutorials and kits that explain how to use these components in robotics projects. Another super important thing you need to learn is power management. Your robot needs the right amount of power to run smoothly and it's your job to make sure it gets it. If you give your robot too much power, you can damage the components, not enough power and it won't run properly. You will need to understand how to handle voltage, current and different types of batteries to keep your robot working safely. For example, let's say your robot needs 5V to operate but your battery is 9 volts. In that case, you will need to use something like a voltage regulator to bring that power down to a safe level. Learning how to manage power is key to keeping your electronics from burning out. Sensors and motors are the heart of most robotics projects, so you need to know how to work with them. Sensors help your robot understand its environment by detecting things like light, distance or temperature. To get sensors working with your robot, you will need to understand how to wire them correctly and how they communicate with the microcontroller. Motors, on the other hand, make your robot move. Controlling a motor isn't just about turning it on and off. You might need to control the speed and direction, which requires understanding concepts like pulse width modulation. Also guys, if you are truly into electronics and PCB, check out Altium Student Lab and you can get free access to Altium Designer and Altium 365 to work with your friends and earn a certificate recognized by top industries in India. You can use your university or school email to start for free. You can try that as well for free by clicking the link in the description below. And finally, one of the most important thing you will need to learn is how to troubleshoot and debug your circuit. When you are building robots, things will go wrong. Maybe a wire isn't connected properly or a component got fired. Knowing how to track down these problems and fix them is an essential skill for every robotics hobbyist. But you don't have to worry about it because this will get easier with practice. The more you experiment with electronics, the better you will get at troubleshooting. So those are the most important things you will need to learn in electronics before getting started with robotics. Circuits, components, power management, sensors, motors and troubleshooting. 
Once you understand these basics, you will be ready to take on exciting robotics projects. Start small, experiment and have fun learning.